Hello, we're back, and uh, I'm putting stickers on my laptop. And I've given I've given Dan all the stickers that I don't want, and now he's made a massive mess with them. Congratulations! There's even a Batman sticker. So we're in Tonic. Uh, we're going to be into our second game, which is the same teams, and it's going to be on Overpass Heroic. And God sent God sent one the first map, no? Yes. So we'll find out if they can win a second, or if the maps are going to be tied. The knife round is finishing in front of our eyes. Gratuitous violence. Wanton. Does this game have a Peggy rating? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I would assume so, right? Doesn't Does anyone even know what Peggy stands for? Peggy, 16. I don't know what it stands for. Parental enthusiasts. Enthusiasts. No. Parental enthusiasts. Parenthesis. I leave the rest to you. Some of these stickers are quite interesting. I regret that I threw them everywhere. Where would you apply the stickers? Uh, no, I just... I, no, well, anyway, we do have a match. Let's let's get into that. Because Herc and Godson have provided us with a lot of awesome action so far. And already some of the action's kicking off as Flasher gets himself some forward information. As you do. As you do on this map. As one does. As, as I think you would also. So we have four T's moving towards long, but uh, I'm glad for them that they're not going all the way. And now they are. Or are they? They are indeed. It's going to be a split towards the A site. Play's getting tagged. Flusher getting fragged. Man down for both sides. Make that two for the CT. Schneider falls as well. Snappy holding the flag, but there is no flag. They're all coming from CT spawn for God's sense. Maybe waiting for a post plant situation. This post Pronax -pro is dead situation now. Two versus four. Only Crims have Kevron situation. Not going to be easy. JW getting tagged. Crims trying to find the headshot there, but Moddy is seizing him. Just continuing with the one versus one duel despite the four versus two. And there's going to be freeze getting taken down, but Moddy will get the frag onto Crims. No way JW is now as well. And he will be finished off by Glaive. Moddy and Glaive both getting frags and stolen USPs for superior range. Superior fun. I do like the new sounds. Of I think it's everything apart from when so when you shoot an orb, it's really weird because it's like a I don't know like a sonic boom or a thunderclap or something, some like lightning. Uh, there's a really sound. weird thunderous sound at the end, but yeah. But is but I find all these. Uh, I want to actually. I made a video of this earlier, but I didn't publish it because I didn't like it. But I'll, we'll come back to this when there's an eco round because okay. now it's a force spike from Godsent, and they've all charged towards the upper area. Freeze is getting taken down, and four people are dead. Yeah. Uh, everyone dead straight away by the lovely water feature, the fountain. And now it's going to be time to try to reclaim the bomb. And superior numbers, yes, but they must traverse through this choke point. However, CTs have given it up for the time being, which is quite an interesting play. Quite an interesting play, actually, because considering where the bomb is, they at that point in the round knew more or less where all the Ts could possibly come from. But they are instead deciding to just sit back on the bomb site now having given up all the position, which is strange because now they have to gamble. Whereas before, it's kind of a sure thing and you're saying, all right, the bomb's down. We can try to set up to defend it, take some uh, one-on-ones. Maybe they're just afraid of the that they can't trade more uh, effectively enough in that area. Yeah, but also, uh, I guess if they try to protect the bomb, then it limits the places that they can be. Whereas if they abandon it, then you've got to look from everywhere True. else. Although they are uh, in a sticky situation now. JW gives his position away, jumping on the site. Valde spots it, takes him down, and it seems that their best chance to win the round has maybe passed. Flusher coming in from the rear, from the from the derriere, from the back. Nice headshot, got a CZ. Still nine bullets in the clip. We always get hold up the same magazine. Oh, Moddy goes down as well! He always does it! 30 HP onto Valde, who gets himself a 3k during that round, and su survives. He holds for Heroic Flusher with almost another highlight reel. Perhaps he is the human highlight reel. Yeah, anyway, is so fun to watch going back to it. the AWP, I want to research yeah. what all this fidelity stuff means. But right now, to me, for some reason, the uh, firing of the AWP reminds me of a, a semi-inflated football being kicked. And it just reminds me that, you know, the original footballs, the uh, secondary thing inside was a pig's ladder. Really? Did you know that? No. You probably didn't. Well, now you do. And now almost two frags for the CTs with USPs in connector. Valde manages to hold on with all of 15 HP. And uh, he is going to back up and get out of there. And indeed, Godsent are hunting for him. They want to take his belongings away. The repo men. Another awkward position. 
to be in the godsend. I mean, they have a lot of a lot of options, I suppose, but uh, ooh, it's going to have to come down to Flush landing some of these headshots from afar with that USP. Very doable, of course, but Herica getting closer and closer. And I mean, if they just you know just stick their backs against this long wall, play together on the trades, they, there should be absolutely no way that it is possible for Godsend to win this round. And they are able to clean up some of these frags. It looks like Godsend decided to push them. Ooh, Crims, he's got, oh, he's got a great position. That's the bomb down. A second frag comes in. Could be a third right there for Crims, but backing away now is Snappy, allowing Moddy to rejoin him, or vice versa. And that puts Crims in an impossible situation. 10 HP, no surprise for him to work with, no element of surprise. And yeah. they're just going to play it super safe. They're going towards the A bomb, uh, the B bomb site. Yeah, they hear him running away as well. They hear him rotating. Rotators. So, UMP all the way to T-spawn. <laughs> and he has time to work with. There are 40 seconds to detonation, as described by the user interface, or UI, if you will. Somebody's on the other side of the wall, and he should hear Crims jump down. It's very difficult. Maybe off the board he can stop his uh, sound from being heard, but I think his options are limited. And there's all the water there, the dirty... The sewage water, Dan. Dirty water. I was actually reading about... Um, sewage water? About police divers okay. who end up going into canals and places with nil visibility, maybe sewage places as well. Places where you're going to have like syringes and other nasty things, dead bodies, etc. being dumped there. And how they uh, search for items. I would not like to do that. <laughs> really? It sounds horrible. Why, why would I, I guess somebody has to do it. People, some pe well, the people who do it, some yeah. of them like it. Anyway. I, I, yeah, I wonder about that. By round coming in from both sides, we have the AWP onto JW. We have the UMP continuing onto Pronax, which is uh, difficult, trade difficile. All these uh, AK players, these terrorists, they have helmets. So the UMP, it's still a good gun though. It's still a good gun. And uh, where is Pronax playing? He is playing around the B-bomb fight at the moment, maybe rotating between both, but perhaps uh, he's likely to have close quarters engagements in this area, short B, so up close, that UMP will have uh, will be viable. So that's fine. May not be ideal, but it's, you know, we can take it. We can accept it. It can roll. Schneider's going to be out of bullets in a sticky set situation, managing to bunny hop away, and uh, Glaive wasn't going to hunt him, so could have been an early frag, potentially, for Heroic, but it won't be. I Minute mean, 10 on the clock, and they're still in early positions, apart from the, the deep connector spot, harassing over towards B. I like this, actually. Godson reclaiming the toilet area. The boost comes into play over the top of the smoke. See you later, Glaive. Russia's still in the action right there, pushing further forwards. These plays, so aggressive, so creative, so reliant upon hitting your shots. And Godson, they do actually manage to go one for two. And, and Flusher just super committed there. And now Heroic, they've got 35 seconds left. Ha if they had a, a major plan, now they're just down to three men. So it, the plan would have changed somewhat. And they are quite committed towards the A bomb site, especially with the positioning of the player on long. So here they go. Here comes the barbecue. Schneider down to 13 HP, going to take down Valde. 15 seconds for that bomb to get planted. Only two players versus four. Almost an impossible situation here. Breeze gets taken down from the back. Moddy will trade for a second, but he will be soon dispatched of by Godsent. They get their first round on the board. They survive with three players. No AK is taken into this round, though. And uh, it seems on the first round of Godsent, after the pistol and a successful two rounds, Heroic are going to be on a force buy with one rifle immediately because of the damage done in the previous rounds, the rounds prior. We got Tech Nines. We have a collection of Tech Nines, a gaggle of Tech Nines, a pride of Tech Nines. A pride know. of Tech Stop. I don't know what you They're would call They're not lions. It. I, I know, but I want to give it a name. Pride of Tech Nines. That's ridiculous. I know. At least I'm, at least I'm trying something. Experimentation, throwing everything against the wall. Well, they've, they've already been spotted, and Monty's already dead, so uh, the strength of this is, of course, in the numbers. Valde, with rifle support, is going to be very nice, of course, in the back, once uh, fire has been draw drawn upon the Tech 9 players. But another one is picked off, and in fact, it is Valde who had that AK-47. 
pretty annoying there. Can't even get to the AK-47 because you got to worry about not only JW but Flusher as well. And he goes Flusher. Again, just denying that AK. So this, this round, I mean, they had some nades. There was potential. But I love that because Godsend are happy to go aggressive, they, if, again, if you have a plan, they are able to dis dis uh, disrupt the plan before you can do it, which is really important. To, uh, an important skill for your team to have yeah. against to play against high-level teams. The thwarting, the disrupting, interrupting, and disrupting. And one quick point, too, is that one of the reasons why SK is your favorite team to watch in this map and perhaps the best Overwatch team in the world is because they are overpass amazing. Team in the world. Did I say, did I say, what did I say? Overwatch? I don't know why I said that. I've definitely meant over, <laughs> overpass. <laughs> anyway, that is, they're amazing at that. Amazing. Right then, it seems Heroic have a plan, and that plan is the B bomb site, although the bomb is around Connector, which is kind of scary on its own. Although it is an eco round, and Gonsett will know that, so uh, they may not have a player deep into Connector, because that is a vulnerable position sometimes. JW gonna take down Snappy, maybe from the high ground, I guess he's on. Opponent's coming in with that UMP. The UMP will pay off in every sense of the word. Clean sheet for Godsent versus a uh, hardcore Rico from Heroic. And now the score is tied. As you can see in the top right corner of your screen, it is 1-0 to Godsent in this situation. It is a best of two. We'll see if Godsent can make the best from two or if Heroic will share half of the spoils. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite a big deal because you get those three points if you're able to get both of the wins, but only a mere one, should you not. And, uh, well, it's going to be a difficult situation here for Heroic to try to find their bearings. Fnatic mixed their setup so much here. We're seeing now presence towards Sue as Crims goes in. Just so bold. And he's going to take down Valde pretty easily there. It seems, it seems as though Valde really didn't expect that. What is this? Prodax rushes in with the UMP from Monster. He has support from Crims, of course, but craziness. And they have got one for two out of this action. Again, a massive disruption from Do you, do you remember when... Uh Simple used to push through Monster all the time through smokes on the CT side. All <laughs> yeah, the time. He loves it. That was awesome. I haven't seen that for ages. Four versus two. Heroic don't have the bomb. The bomb is in a tricky spot and it's been covered by JW. And Snappy's been left to retrieve it on his own. Schneider is in a super sneaky spot. He's miles away. Just making sure there's no, no crazy shenanigans coming out from Heroic. So, <laughs> Snappy's been left to run the gauntlet. He's been nominated. Snappy, you are the man who will run the gauntlet versus JW. That gauntlet is proving to be a difficult one. JW, uh, game coming in for a sneaky flashbang, but there's a lot of places stopping that flashbang from being usable. So, a learning, a lesson to be learned there for JW. Yeah. 30 seconds left, and now Glaive uh, will join. And Crimson's gone down. Now they're a real problem for Godsent, despite how heavily tagged Broic are. Yeah, I mean, they had a lot of opportunities to play just really passively after that advantage, but he's one-on-ones, man. And now it is... Well, there is a potential. Oh, nice smoke, but even nicer shot found through the smoke. And Schneider, he was just waiting for that information. I was there to deliver the final kills in the round. So 4-3, to three, God's sake, keep things going. The unfortunate thing is that that could have been much cleaner than it was. And we'll have to see if that will actually impact Godsend in the long run. But Heroic, they don't really have much at this point to, to really work with. And each time they have tried to go for Tech 9 plays, Godsend are showing great aptitude in pushing forwards in the map, picking off players here or there, before they can, before Heroic can bring all the numbers together onto a bombsite attack. And that's really how you diffuse a round of terrorist Tech 9 assailants is pick them up before they can apply those numbers together. Assailants. Yeah. No money, lots of problems. That's the line for Heroic at present. Two down, soon to be three, four, five. Next round. No one down for Godsend, that's great for their economy. Let's have a look and see how much money they've got. And you can see on the left-hand screen there, uh, left of your screen, JW and Flush up with five figures in the back. That is fantastic for them. Heroic going to have good utility in terms of grenades for this round. Freeze back on the AWP. Curious to see how he will use the uh, the AWP in what remains of the first half. <coughs> so we have that Molotov going into 
the short B tunnel to try and stop any push from Heroic. Try and stop them getting short B control again. It's very important area on this map. What is going on here? Flusher was facing the wall to uh, try and avoid being flashbanged, but Schneider seems unprepared to be shot in the face. And that is a big advantage for Heroic. But how do they use the advantage? JW's position here is problematic to say the least. Very important kill. That's the bomb as well. I'm not sure if JW saw it. He must have seen it at least on the minimap. Now, covering his flank. And his position is kind of problematic because he, he, he can't really escape the stairs back towards A. He's going to take the long way around if he wants to do that. And he does have Crims who is towards Suez. So Crims can actually help him get out there towards the door and keep Suez area safe. Because right now, Hero could really be anywhere. And that's, this is exactly what's happening with JW now. He's, he, uh, Crims allowed him safe passage back into the B-bomb site. Now he's going back towards, uh, one could ima should imagine, yeah, back towards A. But will they get in there, there in time for Pronax? No, they won't. Pronax is down straight away. Now it's the Mad Dash back onto the side. Looks good. Very good here. Three versus two for Heroic. Open plant from Valde. Having to rely on those grenades to do the job in the short term. Going to push through. Not waiting. Flashes his teammate though. Second attempt. And Modi is not going to get blinded this time. But uh, through the wall or through the smoke. Valde will get tagged and then finish off. Two versus two. Freeze holding the line with the AWP. But that's a very tight spot. And he may have trouble unless Krim stops in his crosshair. That bomb continues to tick though. Two diffuse kits, one on each player. And now uh, Freeze's angle will be important. Patience, but he misses the shot. Still moving when he takes it. Can't stop the diffuse from coming in. JW trying to, oh, so close, but no shots fired. Six to three, Godsend have double the score of Heroic early on in this map. Yeah, I mean, they're looking ever since they kind of took the momentum back. Like, they are well and truly in control of this. They're able to handle like, quite a wide variety of situations. And there are a lot of teams that struggle much more on one side than the other. But if Godsend, you know, if t site is a problem for them, then it's very important, of course, for them to just rack up all the rounds here. And it's looking like that's quite possible right now. And the cool thing as well is that a lot of it's coming down, like on train, to these one-on-ones. Which is quite fun to watch, I have to say. Now... Crims, we can see the anchor of the B-bomb site. A chilling by monster. This round for X approach is that slow take of Suez. Now they don't have to build into the B push from this. It is a good base for that, but they don't have any presence early in the round towards A. Perhaps they seemingly are feeling afraid of that position now. They've been shut down there so many times. Ooh, <laughs> don't you dare! Let's go for a roar. Jumping, off shot. Oh, I think he hit him with something. 50 HP left for Valley. Oh, no. God, the angle is so close. Everyone outside B for the T side, and they're starting to stream in now. Nades and counter nades, smokes, and the uh, the CT water is being held by the CTs for the time being. More grenades coming in, and they're get more Molotov. Crim shooting between some players. Fine takes one down. Trades to both sides. Three versus three, and it will go advantage heroic by one. Valde popping through the flashbangs, going full Stewie 2K mode at the moment. Can't find anybody to shoot though. JW coming round now, hunting himself. Doesn't spot a player on the low ground. Maybe harder to see him through the flames as well. Glaive comes out at the right time, leaving JW alone, trying to pre-fire him now. Oh. oh, through the wood, through the MDF, the medium density fiber board, but no kill. The only thing filthier, more repugnant than JW's orping is that water down below. Me medium size. density fiberboard is actually quite repugnant as well because it is it's terrible. very toxic. Is it actually very toxic? Oh, yeah, if you, me, if you in inhaled particles of it, really, you would not be in a good spot. Because I worked a lot with MDF at school. I yeah, explain a lot what, about my. Yeah. Well, never mind. So the thing about Gosling right now is that they, you know, they got the double ops rolling in. Already, what they've been doing is it's been fairly effective against Heroic. Obviously, Heroic were just able to find success in that B play. And one of the things there that's different is that B play makes it much harder for Godsend to actually reliably pick off players before the play, the main plan can come in. And you can see how beneficial that, that can be when Heroic can combine everybody together. Because some teams also struggle so much more when you force them to go for a plan B, essentially, when it's like, oh, okay, crap, we lost a guy or two already. Now we've got to figure out something else on the spot. Some teams really struggle with that. Are Heroic one of those teams? Does remain to be seen. You can hear a plane flying past in the background. It's like being in Richmond Park. Yeah. Because it's near Heathrow. Yes. You can also find deer in Richmond Park, which I don't think you'll find on Overpass. 
So we've got Heroic taking map control, looking to split the A site. Schneider's going to get taken down towards the uh, outside of the toilets. And now you see Flusher in a vulnerable position, relying on that smoke to keep him safe for the time being. Oh, they would have heard that tag. He's going to go for the pre fire because he heard Flusher. He could get down to the flames, still 4 HP. Moving into the flames just in time. That could have been disastrous. Now Glaive is going to try to find him. Indeed, he will through the panel. Meanwhile, Moddy gets taken down. Advantage heroic again. And it's, again, it's so funny just how how uh, Godsend wants to take these fights to Heroic, puts them in a three versus three, feeling that they're more confident. But this time, this is the difference. However, TW can still save it. The snap comes in and Freeze hits the ground as it's down to Crims as well as JW to salvage the round. And Crims, he has a more forward position than was expected, was anticipated. And now it's... Uh, Valder trying to... I almost wanted to say Vlade for some reason. I keep thinking Volvo, Vol Voldo from Soul Calibur. Voldo. Yeah. Vlade. Vlad. We know a few Vlads. I know many Vlad. I know. I have known all many the Vlads. Vlads. We know all the Vlads. In my time on this planet. All the Vlads. Three rounds between the two sides. Double Orb's coming out for God Sent. Are they God Sent? Are you God Sent? Have you been sent from God? I sincerely hope not. I don't know. That would be a cruel joke. <laughs> uh, uh, that stings, whatever. doesn't it? It stings. Whatever. It stings. Looks like maybe Heroic are going to go back to what was successful. Going for that sewers control. Valde. What? JW. How do you miss this? No. He even missed the flashbang. That is a brutal, sad, grim, terrifying reality. This is looking quite good here for Heroic. Ooh, they've got position. Playing with JW, I think that was must have been from JW, that connection. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's not good to uh, give JW traces. Yeah. Or to let him see you at all, it seems. I mean, he, he will hit one of these shots. I mean, he hit one already, of course, onto Glaive. But if you just stay here, one of those shots is going to hit. In fact, did that hit? It was close. It was close. They're playing the lottery right there. It's always fun. If you win, you get shot in the face by JW. <laughs> it's not really much of a lottery. I'm more of a Russian roulette, perhaps. I would not play it. You Russian, yeah, I suppose that is probably a more apt head. <laughs> An elbow shown from Valde. He comes in with the flashbang, but the flash does not come in too fast. And he will go down. Body gets traded by JW. There are plays on the side. Can he go for the wall bank? Flush will take his blade down. And Flush will go down in kind. Man advantage. More players around the smoke. Freeze goes down towards the barrel, leaving Snappy alone. Nothing but orbs for days. <laughs> so many orbs is firing constantly. Orbs on orbs, it's like train again. <laughs> Two players surviving with orbs for God's sake, three players surviving in total. That's a plus for their economy. That was a uh, lot of warping. It was, yeah. JW yeah. was, was just running around. I, wanna, I want to know how many bullets he shot in that round. He reloaded his gun. He was forced. He had no choice, Dan, but to reload his weapon. Oh, my God. The reload on is, is that, that is lengthy. Sometimes, lengthy you see, um, yeah, sometimes you see people trying to save an orb, and they have six bullets, and they're reloading it, which just gives their position away. Yep. It's foolish. It's unnecessary. It's a mistake. It takes so long to reload. I wonder uh, what the average amount of orb bullets is uh, like shot by a player. Well, te tactical or technical? What? Tactical pause. Okay. Okay. Producer Patrick, almost called him Patrice, uh, has raised the alarm, which is probably not the right phrase. But anyway, there's a tactical pause coming in, presumably from Heroic. And there, there are still rounds to be won here, although they're in a difficult monetary situation. Maybe they're trying to figure out if it's worth going for a force buy, depending on the situation of Godsend, which is kind of weird because you have Crims of $1,000 and there's JW of $11,000. So it might be hard for them to discover exactly what the situation is with Godsend, but they know they just survived with three players, including two warps. They will opt for more of an economical round, it seems. Some pistols being purchased, probably the right call. There are still two rounds after this one to be, uh, to be had between these two sides. The cool thing too for Godsent is that there's so I mean they're a team that obviously is not afraid to get aggressive, which is brilliant on overpass. And they have so many options in the way of like deciding to go towards controlling the, the, the uh, uh, connector area of the map next to squeaky door. And if you have fast access to that, then that really destabilizes B B rushes. But I have to hold that fort for now because once again Godsent they detect the tech nines and they move forwards to neutralize them. 
detect the tech. Schneider does not realize that the his final opponent is behind him, where he first encountered, first <laughs> engaged. And that's where he will fall. That's where he will remain. That's where he will lie. JW coming in <laughs> with an AWP, of course, versus a pistol. What else would he do? And I'm glad. Now, one of, one of the one of the most enjoyable consistents in the game, for me, is that JW. Uh, he always has the confidence of his teammates to allow him to be him. Yeah. And you know, sometimes it, sometimes it'll do go great and he'll win you the match. Sometimes it'll go wrong and you have to clean up. But uh, it's it's a joy to watch. Very very yeah. enjoyable stuff. And uh, the great thing about JW's style is that JW is JW. You can't do JW. No one can do JW but JW. That is true. Yeah, this is he he's, has can play in an unorthodox way as you suggest, and I his unpredictability is one of his strengths. I actually had um, another little clip of some of his play to make. Like I have, uh, he he does some really funky stuff that you don't see anyone else do. Um, and there was another, there's another situation like that. Unfortunately, I don't remember what it is, so you may never ever see it ever. Which is yeah. a shame. But look at this. Bosh. Look at that. Bish, bash, bosh. This is going so well for Godsend once again. Every time Heroic are going towards A, look how well Godsend are playing the tactical game around the toilets. Some teams cannot do tactical it. Tactical game around the toilets. Just, just move on. Move Sounds on from like this. A Thursday night with DDK. <laughs> <laughs> you would know, wouldn't you? What, no. what does that mean? <laughs> I, I just, just want to throw you. I'm going to take you down with me. <laughs> <laughs> at, at any cost, apparently. At any, at any cost. Three versus three, and Heroica trying to take the A site. But there's a flank coming in from Crimp. Can he get there fast enough? Flusher needs him. Flusher needs him bad. He's close range. Is the AWP? No scope required, perhaps. Ooh. I'm not even sure. Freeze going to take his head off. Again, it's the AWP party. What is this close range AWP party? This is madness. Freeze hunting now. JW just about missing the shot. Bomb's been collected. But where is Crimps? He's in the back. Do it. Oh. <laughs> JW comes swiping in. <laughs> yeah. Crimps has the position. JW's co JW comes from the front. There's more close range AWPing there than on FY Pool Day. Although I don't think there was an AWP on was there an, an off on FY Pool Day? I know there was a uh, negative. I don't but. think so. I don't think there was. No, because there was nothing in the middle. Oh, wait, yeah. no, Pool Day. I'm thinking of Ice World. Yeah. I, I remember Ice World. I was, I was a pro at Ice World. Yeah. Give me an MP9 and I'm good to go. The silenced MP9. Pool day, Those man. Are the days. Anyway, back into the last round of the first half. We have a fast play coming in from Heroic. They've got one AK of the Snappy, loads of grenades, and they're all in a queue. We are British and we like to queue. And you will indeed queue. You'll be forced to queue. You have no choice. So, they're moving in towards short B now. Now, the interesting thing here is... Uh, wait, let's see where the smokes are. Okay, the smoke's in a weird place in the Monster, monster Tunnel. Because if you have control of short B, you can pop flash over Monster Tunnel. And indeed, there will be one, but Crimson's ready and waiting for it. That's a bomb down as well. And four dead heroic plays. Make that five. Glaive goes down. Back to FY Pool Day. They did it. And I love... I love uh, well, I love Pool Day. But I also love that Godson were able to like capitalize and find consistency in what worked. And you can see the Heroic are, are thinking to themselves, okay, we've, we've won some rounds, we've gotten some close rounds playing the Suez, playing into B, basically reducing the variance that is natural towards the A side of the map. Because the A side of the map is, we, we saw Godson outplay Heroic very, very well there. Because in Heroic's position, in the terrorist position, you have to pot flash these positions. You have to have the right smokes down. You have to have the right trade setups. It's pretty complex, actually. It looks very simple, but it's quite complex to do that very effectively. And then once you're able to do those basics and understand the meta game around what <coughs> peaks that people tend to use, what kind of uh, boost are people boosting right now, what kind of boost will they try to use, what can you potentially exploit, there's all these like different aspects to it, then the individual skill comes into play. And Godsend were just all over it. I love that. And now we're going to see them on their pistol round. And Snappy did what Flusher did in the, in the pistol of Godsend previous. He goes for the quick peek, gets some info. And there's decoys on the map, actually. Five Kevlars for Godsent and a bunch of decoys. I don't think anybody cares about decoys anymore, really. Doesn't doesn't I love look, decoys. Uh, just annoying. Glaive is going to spot. Oh, and a one tap. Hello. Piano played C minor. Can you find a C shot for the next player? Moddy will. Chronic's going down. There's a C shot onto JW. And more piano keys coming in. Maybe Schneider and Crims can play some of the blacks. I'm going to follow this. Schneider is the last man standing now versus three. Picks up a USPS, but he can't get the headshots. Down to 32 HP, and the CTs will reposition to make life harder to come in for the double peak. And there it is, down to 19 HP 
Five bullets in the magazine. And there is a shot onto Modi. Time to reload now. He's got a minute to play with. And for a short time, he's got a 1v1 versus 1. But Snappy will win the duel. That took a long time for Schneider to die there. Kind of weird. He was going to run out of bullets at some point very soon. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to, have to be patiently shooting in a pistol round. It's really hard. Mm. It's very easy to just spam away. Personally, myself, I find myself um, often gripping the mouse really hard <laughs> only in pistol rounds, and I can't shoot at all. That's it's funny. so weird. It's like a psychological barrier. Yeah, that's quite funny. I used to have that, but then I got rid of it. No more grip for me. Now, Snappy moving, moving in aggressively, trying to get the info. Is he going with too far, though? How have they not heard him? JW he was just running. is uh, all the way. Clearly listening to a radio station, so he does not hear any of that sound cue. I used to work with I'm, a guy. That looks really weird. I, I used to work with a guy um, in an IT support room, and he would play. Uh, a porn FM station. It basically played music from like cheesy 90s porn, music, porn videos. Basically. It was actually awesome. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Anyway, maybe that's what was JW was listening to. Feel free to tweet him and ask. Man advantage for Heroic. That is a crazy charge. That's that's pretty mental. But what, You're six yeah, rounds yeah, down. Let me just charge on my own with an M4. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's. I mean, it looked like he was... It's like in, in, in fighting games, right? When, you, when you're when de desynchronized from, from the other client, and, and you're like beating up, that, up this guy, you think you're awesome, and he's like not really doing anything, but you're actually desynchronized. It always looked like that, like he was desynchronized. Because, and, but also, how did they not hear him? Yeah. That was just really bizarre from every perspective. JW's obviously listening to Scandinavian esports music, potentially with strobe lights and lasers as well. It can be distracting. All that kind of stuff is these days, eh? 20 seconds left. God said need to get the bomb down. They have potential with these three deagles, but Heroic are ready and oh, in waiting in the face. All over the place. Flusher will go down. Two players lost in the end for Heroic. Honestly, though, that was just a mad suicide run. I don't understand what he was doing. <laughs> well, snappy. Yeah, it's crazy. He was loving it, Do it with, like a, with a UMP, perhaps, Maybe but he's not necessarily an M4. Needed a bit of a slide. He's got somewhere to be. Maybe he needed to go to the toilet. He but I mean, slide. I'm if you need, you. if you need to uh, take a slash, as we would say, take a what? A slash. All oh, right, yeah. Then, um, <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, I see. I see what you're saying. I see where you're going with this now. Yeah, you just want to die immediately. I don't. <laughs> it's not really. I don't know, but you could just stay at AFK somewhere. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. It's madness. It's crazy. Eleven to six. Despite the madness, heroic will survive. They will live with the madness. They'll contain the madness. The madness will be contained. Bomb is moving over towards the A site. And now we've got uh, Snappy again in a very aggressive position. But he's got a teammate this time for cover. And he is looking for the spray down, but he will go down again. Three to two now as the bomb left in no man's land as the weapon is perhaps they try to they, they try to retrieve it. He's lovely coming into wide peak, smart stuff, but there's only so much he can did, do. Did the bomb go outside the map? I don't think so. Okay. No. That would be awesome. Here we go, down to one versus one now. So Heroic really... Uh, I don't know if these gambles are necessary, but that said, on previous anti-eco rounds, Godfriend did have success, so maybe that's why he's charging forward. Freeze taking a lot of damage here, two kills for him. The flashbang comes out, and uh, Crims tries to peek with the flashbang before it goes off. Oh, it was a smoke. He went for the fake, he went for the juke. God, but Freeze was a non-believer. I like it. It is easy to detect, to ra well, rather to identify yeah. what grenade is being deployed. So, yeah, there we go. So what are your tips? For those who don't know, look at the grenade. Then you will know. What if it's being thrown at you, you don't always get a clear. Look, man, if it's being thrown at me, I know what it is, right? Oh, I should have so. So, heroic uh, with some, some scares in the Antico round, but now Godsent will be on the buy, so we'll see if heroic will have a better time of things. Freeze gets flashed off the angle over the bench. And uh, there's a forward position towards the toilets, and heroic are in control of short B, which is important. Godsent. They're still spread in a in passive positions at the moment, keeping options open. Flusher making sure there's no flank coming in. Maybe if a uh, CT overextends, Flusher can take him down towards the monster area. In the meantime, Crims is holding uh, the connector position. So, for example, if Flusher was to go to short B later, then Crims could make sure nobody flanks him through the door. Though Crims is moving through connector himself now. And perhaps he will go into short B. Flusher rotating away from B, so it seems the A execute is in mind here for Godsense. They're set up pretty well. 
it's going to be down to the toilet guys. The toilet massive to deal with this problem. Nice little pop flash over the top there by Freeze. Will the second one be better? No. No connections whatsoever for Freeze. No. And now he's going to have some problems because these T's are getting close and he's got no flashbangs left. Clave has managed to find himself over towards Optimus. Nice spray down comes in. Wow. And Modi, how was he not spotted at all there? He just have to turn. 20 more degrees left at the most. How? I mean, that really fell apart for Godsend in a matter of seconds. They had so much potential. They had a two-man advantage. And then four kills coming for Heroic. Glaive four. Man. Four he kills got, he, got, he got the Bish Bash with the M4 spray down. I do like the new, all the new sounds, just because apart from, well, the AWP is confusing. The AWP is it feels a question like, mark. It feels like I'm calling down the powers of thunder. Yeah, but I think if, you, if, you, look at, if you look at the old sounds of, for example, the Deagle as well, they were, I feel like they were more stereo. I don't know if that makes any, more, any sense, but I feel like I could hear it more in both my ears, whereas I, would don't, I wouldn't say so now with the AWP. You don't have that kind of satisfaction it's like when you when you heard the orb being fired it was a threat right whereas now yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like you have that same yeah. threatening yeah, yeah. feeling and i feel like they've tried to kind of have that by putting thunder towards the end of it but i don't think it works to make you feel afraid oh my god you know it's like that it's thunder. like they're trying to make it have that same rumble yeah but it doesn't one of my favorite sounds ever was when two people shot orbs at the same time that why that sound was awful and you get like this really weird sound but why was that your favorite sound ever? It's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just an awesome sound. I don't know why I like it a lot. It's because you're a nerd. That's yeah, why. I am. It's because you're a nerd. Well, the horrible this thing... This guy tried to fit his new graphics card while he was drunk out of his face. That's how nerdy he is. So... And he couldn't operate a screwdriver. So the sad thing for God said here is... Get wrecked, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the... Um, uh, well... They had such a great start, such a great lead. Of course, uh, they are yet to claim around on their terrorist side. Of course, they did lose the pistols, so you know you can put some of it down to that. But Heroic has done a good job claiming five in a row. Now they have to hold on against what is potentially the ultimate setup from Godstand. We get actually a pause. I wonder actually if it's a tactical one because this would be a very good spot for Godsend to to do that to work out Russian what friend. they're going to do in this round. It's not. I have a Russian friend and she technical. says POWs. Technical. She says POWs instead of pause. Who does? POWs. Olya. All right. She says POWs. Why? I don't know. Because she's Russian. Yeah. All right. That's a good source of trolling. We're going to POWs the game. <laughs> so 11 to 9, God sent with a thin lead. Look at all those CT rounds. CT rounds for days. We've seen four. Outside of the pistol and the ecos, there's been one round basically won by a seaside. Yeah, interesting. That's mad. Or, I, mean, uh, I mean, two if you count the. Well, no, there's, there's, pretty, there's pretty much one round. I mean, I would like to see Godsent going towards A and really trying to establish with a proper buy all those picking opportunities. Because again, if you look at a player like JW, he gets so many opportunities to do to do uh, to do things in that spot. The the ish the interesting thing as well is that you need to understand. How is the CT setup going to defend the A side of the map? Will they? Do they? Are they? Are they a team that's going to play it quite passively, or will they be more like Godsend, where they're more willing to play into the mid round? But we have to hold Woo! that fort for now because Freeze able to connect one Snappy aggressive, looking for the second, and this double man setup here between Freeze and Snappy has worked wonderfully towards a long. And this is one of the. This is the information Godsend needs to have that Heroic will have setups like this. We can, and uh, one of the reasons is also because in rounds maybe when Godsend isn't pushing A hard, they realize that setups could allow Heroic to push A long with the player. That's also information they need to have. That's probably the most frags I've seen um, from Norpa in that position in a long time because it's hard to connect those, as I always say. Yeah. So that's crippled the push of Godsend, who must be at maximum loss bonus. I don't think any two yeah, rounds have been won on, no, the on this half. They have not. So basically one round won by, by terrorists. That's interesting. Maybe that does not bode well for Godsend going forward. It doesn't in this particular round. Nice timing on that grenade. Leaves flush with 52 HP. He's got to look for his deep right as well. As it's always a scary position. And there it is. Body is spotted and traded. And the trades continue. That deep right position is really interesting next to Optimus because um, it's often not smoked. Because if you smoke that position, 
then someone can stand in the middle of Octopus, Octopus, Optimus, <laughs> and look over it. It is now forever Octopus. Yeah, you can look over it if you're standing on the track itself. So you have to smoke the truck, which leaves that position open. And there's often a CT there because it's such an, uh, an acute angle, it's, a pr it's problematic to, to uh, deal with. So the more you know. Flush it down to a Tech 9, JW on the UMP. Godsense do not want to lose any more rounds. They do not want to lose their lead, their lead of one round. Freeze the only man orping at the moment. They will start early with the flashbangs, trying to slow down the Godsense side. It'll take them a while to close the distance. But interestingly, in the defaults we've seen from Godsense, they've been further, well, more passive towards B. But now we see Flusher, maybe because he's got a Tech 9 rather than a rifle, but he's all the way next to Monster Tunnel. Perhaps that tells us something about the approach of Godsense in this round. Do they want to go for a B play? Yeah, it's very, very likely uh, with that position. Also, the, th the other thing for Flusher is that if there's any information, like if, if they decide to play a very, very slow round, the longer you play, depending on the pace Heroic has, Heroic might start to think, we, we, we need an information play. And Monster is one of those spots. Some teams do like to try to have rounds where they push a CT there, because if, if there is nobody there on the T side, you get so much value from it. It's insane. It's sometimes worth the risk uh, of, of you know having a one versus one potentially. So maybe that's a read that Godson have, or maybe it is just as you said, and they are going to opt to actually um, try to fake fake into the uh, the B-bombs, uh, well, fake A and go to B. But the problem is, is they don't have any sewers presence. So I feel like the A play is more more likely here. The straight up A play. We are getting a rotation here as well. Just one man really directly on the B-bomb site. There you go, Schneider gets taken down from the toilet's Ooh. position and indeed the bomb is headed towards A. Glaive is still here. Um, maybe that smoke can be used to get the bomb down. It has to, because there are eight seconds left. And you can see Flusher preemptive spraying to make sure Glaive can't get anything done, but he will continue his aggression. There's one down. Can he, can he get a second? Trying to do his best. Flusher going to pick up the gun, managed to do so. And we've got trades coming in for both sides. This is absolute madness. But it's almost every frag being taken by Heroic. Looking good. Smokes, flashes, Molotovs. But it will be the cold steal from Modi's AK. Stolen AK, of course who will finish off the last player. Heroic tie up the score. The maximum loss bonus continues for Godsent. The uh, plant should allow them to buy, actually, whereas they might have been in an awkward situation otherwise. That, that was a really weird round because we did get a, uh, is this, ta well, I guess we're gonna find out if it's a This is probably not, tactical. But, I mean, um, they haven't won a single round on the T side. But the weird thing about that round is that, again, the Godsent don't have what? anybody. Tactical, pause. Okay, so Godsent didn't have anybody in B, apart from the guy that's just sitting a monster. And in many ways, Heroic overreacted massively. And part of the reason they did that is because the time on the clock was so low that when Freeze got that first pick, they're like, well, this has to be it. This, ha this has to be it. But of course, you know, the Godson are playing with that risk of having the very low time. And it, made a l it actually made a lot of sense in the end, but uh, it is a little bit, uh, it is quite risky. And it is hard as well to play rotation on this map because the players on B can feel much more free to rotate because rotating to, to A as a precaution is always going to be it's always going to be okay-ish because you know retaking A is much much more difficult than retaking B. B you can very easily retake as the CTs. So I do actually like uh, the play from both teams in that round. Now I think Godsend still need to put more tests towards the A side of the map. I still feel like they can outskill Heroic in that area but Let's see what they have concocted after the pause that we have resumed. Play. Freeze is going for the peaks. Nice flash in there to stop him, though. Right ah. then, moving up towards mid are the T's. And Heroic have maybe with some expectation put two people deep towards long. That may allow them a good position for oh, no. the retake, although it is a choke point after all. Is that, was that a miss smoke? Was that supposed to go... A little bit to the left. I am not sure. Either way, the bomb's getting planted. That's the main thing. Everyone alive and the bomb's down on A. Not something you see every day. Flusher again lurking, waiting for some rotations. But there is no rotation. There are two towards long. Surprise! Free's going to announce himself. Got a player in for support as well. Now, Flusher's desperately coming in for that flank, but he might be too late. Man down. JW4 HP. He needs to move quickly. And those uh, CTs are moving as well. Free's getting taken down. Flusher will get traded on that flank. And now, JW, his situation becomes all the more desperate. 4 HP. Valde poking around the smoke, takes taken down. There's JW, now Prenex is the last man standing. Does he have an angle for the bomb? Won't need one because Modi will put him out of his misery. Wow. Heroic, take the lead. Look at the health though, that was so, so close. 
So frustrating for Godson, and they played the perfect counter strategy. That was perfect. They had detected, and again, this is something that I was talking about earlier. This is one of the reasons why you can you want to have get a good beat on how the CTs are playing. A because it can allow you to take really big risks in how you choose your strategy. And they they picked a very very fast play through the toilets. Of course, heroic doing what they've done in many other rounds. They put both their players on long, so you can just get the bomb plant on a hard site that's normally well a site that's usually hard to do that on. So. The fact they don't win around like that, that is demoralizing. God sent now they're trying to take over Suez, mixing things up with a bit of a B setup. They have nobody towards the A side of the map. You have to expect there's a B play. Peronax is going to walk in. I love this. And that's why it's good. Straight away, one entry, almost a second. The guy at I Monster is isolated and taken down. And that's going to be the bomb plant. Plants arise, the bomb zords. Can't plant there anymore, Flusher. Behind the pillar. That was. Uh a very long time ago now. JW gets taken down, he gets exploderized. Flusher will fall as well, and Heroic looking good for another round in the bag. No rounds won by the T's just yet. Schneider though wants this, he wants this victory. Crims, again, we've had uh, one player looking for a flank, and there's almost never been a flank in these situations. Both players coming in from the front, from the CT position, from that rotation area. Mordi over towards Bowels, can't find anything. God sent with a different approach now, just playing passively. Double peak coming in. What a shot by Freeze, but he would expect the spray dragon to be elsewhere, but he's not. Can he get the spray? No! Only afterwards, another round in the bag for Heroic, another CT round. The consistency continues. That's the third round, I think, where God sent had the, like, a big advantage. And, and they managed to lose the round. And that, that's really... St it's, it's good and it's bad. It's, it's good because... Or, or at least the, the, positive, the positive side of it, it means that they're finding rounds which are consistently putting them in advantage. The bad side, obviously, is that they're not able to close that, that advantage. Yeah, but they are they are trying different approaches, and you see the difference there. They put both players in the same spot, so they're not expecting the second team to be there. They're expecting some kind of trade frag situation. Freeze goes down, but he can't find a player on the smoke in time. Two players down for Godsend. They have no answer to Heroic CT side right now. Yeah, we've got Pronax looking for that frag back on towards Snappy. Again, they got sent. They are very cognizant of how Heroic wants to play A. They want to put Snappy and Freeze on long. Moddy can run around in the toilets area. Freeze will be able to get himself another frag there. Two versus three. This needs to be perfect from Flusher. Already misses one opportunity. Will they get any, any other spots ready? Freeze is in a good position here. And there's nobody at long as well, so it gives Freeze a lot of room to play with if he knows that. Flusher going desperately, trying to get that frag that can open things up. Oh, this is so smart by Pronax. That is super smart. Yeah, but they need they need a round. They, oh, wow, Flusher, of course. They need the round. One more play to find, and he's tracking him. There he goes. Finally, Godsend get a round on wow. the board after so much success on the CT side. And look and what it's done to the CT economy. He, he just walked in. He's walked in. He's like, I'm going to kill two dudes. So many My close rounds. Muddy. So many close rounds. Look what it's done to the CT economy. That is, this is a disaster situation. Heroic have gone all in. All the chips are over the line, Dan. They've got the all in button and they've thrown it at the dealer. It slapped him in the chest. They're all in. <laughs> That's my favorite, favorite move in poker. It's really lame now. You get these little chips that say all in and yeah. you use that to go all in rather than just shove your chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I guess it is a lot more messy and it, you lose counter stuff. Yeah, I know, but, but it's, uh, well, no, well, let's not say now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the uh, the control. Godsent coming in with that control onto the toilets area. They want the bogs and the bogs are oh, theirs. Part only partially given up. Nice flick. Once again, Freeze has been doing some great work in this series against Godsend, and he continues. Pronex now the only man towards the A-long position, where previously they'd put so many players to defend uh, Heroic, and this is uh, very much, or very likely the reason why Godsend have invested so few players in that area, because they don't want to give too many potentially to Freeze, who has repositioned. And this time the corner will be checked. Snappy goes down, the trades come in. And the play is made. Oh man, Moddy's doing massive stuff here. Two kills with a 5-7 on a sneaky spot once again on his toilets. And he may just keep his team in this best of two series. He may keep them in the lead as well. They desperately need this. They need to win with numbers as well because their money is ruined. Moddy does not even have armor in this round. 30 seconds left. This is still doable for Flusher and Schneider, but it's hard because Schneider has an AWP rather than an AK. It's difficult. I don't know what his efficiency is like. Glaive spraying through. Who's going to spot who first in the corner of the smoke? 
It's gonna be Flusher going down, and uh, now it might be too much to ask here for Schneider. Glaive playing with the smoke again. Ships passing in the night. 12 seconds left, and uh, Schneider may want to just throw this AWP away at this point. No, it will be collected. Although actually, Freeze has an AWP. They will continue with two. I mean, in that situation, I think he should just throw the AWP over the bridge and uh, just continue with the pistol. That is, uh, this is a disaster for yep. Godsent so far. Two rounds behind. It looks so good. They were 11-4 up. And they've gone one round. Yeah, but beyond the pistols, that's the only yeah. the second round that's been won by any two sides. That's a, this could be crazy, isn't it? Crazy. So maybe it's the pistol rounds. Can we look at the scoreboard quickly? And we'll see that uh, yeah, Heroic yeah. have won both pistols, and it may be that that takes yeah. them over the line here. Because look, that's basically two uh, terror rounds that have been won by yeah. any team. So it's the pistol rounds. If they do it, it's going to be because of pistol rounds. Double orps on the CT side. Godsend. They're forced to go for almost a completely clean eco. Here. Desperation yeah. eco to play for overtime. And you can see as well, like, that is, it should be quite exploitable, the play of Heroic on A, because I'm pretty sure that Godson understand this. I mean, they have run great strategies against it in previous rounds. They just cannot win the clutch situations for some reason, which is kind of ridiculous when you're, when you're looking at the lineup and seeing all the names Schneider, Flusher, Pronex, Crims, and JW, and like, and this, and you're like, and you're seeing that they're losing, and a lot of it's because of the clutch situations, and it's kind of just a surprise. And I wonder if once again they're just going to rush toilets, or you know, what will their approach be? Because Heroic are now in this position where they understand that Gosson have abused that hole in their defense a couple times, and now they're sending quite a few people, so that Heroic are actually mixing up their their defense here, which is really nice. Two players hanging out by the stairs, by the stairwell, connector, the door area, whatever you want to call it. And this is actually going to be it. Heroic for everybody there. God sent. They barge into that defensive stronghold, essentially, for Heroic. And the bomb is now down. Yeah, they're just getting taken out in isolation here. Uh, we'll see, let's see what the final two players can do. It's two versus four. Valde and Glaive are tagged. There's still opportunities to be had, but the bomb is down. That said, no one's guarding it. They're content to sit on the sites now with their advantage, which is perfectly fine for the CTs in this situation. Snappy's put the brakes on for once. Not gonna be running around everywhere trying to kill everyone. Like some kind of crazy terminator. Difficult situation for God's sake. Crim's trying to pre-fire everything. We'll see if this is uh, a task too many. What will they opt to do? They're moving together, which is good. In this situation, in uh, if you're playing a pug or like matchmaking or face or something, the two players would always just be completely separate. They'd never work together. But here, they're a team and they will. They'll do what they can. You can see Crim's being very careful to avoid giving his position away orderly. Orally, rather. And there we go. Push comes in. Two players at least on the deep bomb site. It's a very sneaky position from Valde, but he's found immediately. Glaive goes down as well. But it's flush up versus two. Would you have it any other way? He's very good at clutching, but not this time. I gave you two seconds. Yeah. It could have been more, but so, such is life. It's all good. One to one is going to be the score between these two sides. And I mean, we can't be too heavy on Godsend because remember, both no. both sides had completely failed uh, T halves, basically. Again, beyond the pistol, we see two T rounds one. So you can't criticize either side too much. But yeah, Godsend, I would say, probably came closer on their T sides than Heroic did. Unfortunately, yeah. they weren't able to take, to, oh, to yeah. take the 2 0. They, so. they, had, they had like three or four different rounds, which were. Put them in the advantage, like a nice strategy. They executed it pretty well. But then in the clutch situations, they just couldn't win the, f the fragging scenarios. Yes. Happened so many times. Like we see uh, very nice rounds when they realized the CT setup. Okay, what ways can we actually just fight the CT setup on long, like the, the freeze snappy combo? Optimus. What ways can we actually? And they, they managed to do that. They managed to use that to get themselves an advantage. They managed to just rush up at the toilet area because that was there was nobody there. They could get free yep. access in the bomb plant. Somehow lose that round as well. Yeah. There's some great post plant situations coming up for them on the B bomb site when they realize, okay, if we can get to B and we can, you know, if we just run one of our set pieces, that put them in advantage as well. They had the fake round. Was that one of the rounds that they won? Where they they faked into, they faked A and went B really quickly right at the end. Yes. Think, yeah, they, they lost. That, oh, yeah, that was the very, very close one where, where Schneider kills the diffuser like a, like a millisecond after he diffuses the bomb. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they had so many rounds like this. So it's very, very, and they lost both pistol rounds. So, so yeah. it, you, you do the kind of. The pistol rounds won the match. 
Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, you definitely feel like a little bit bad, I think, for Godsend there. Yeah. Um, well, there we go. We're going to have Gambit coming up next versus Heroic. We will see you after the break. Defense.